All right, so we're gonna go over the basics of throwing a screw shot with your lead hand. So the same hand that you jab with. You'll need a little dip and a little rotation before, before, the, um, before the shot. So you're just gonna lower the shoulder. That is gonna deliver the punch. And then it's a straight punch. It's important to remember that screw shots are straight punches. They're basically jabs, but you change your wrist position so instead of turning your wrist over and ending up with your palm facing down you end up either with your palm facing up or your thumb facing up so it's a long range punch pretty much the same distance you're going to throw a jab from but it's just varying the angle a little bit it's a really good shot to use on someone with a tight guard so i prefer to throw the shot with my thumb facing upwards um I just feel that it slots through the guard a little bit better. Um, but you can throw it with your palm facing upwards as well. So like with your wrist position, the, the, the opposite to what it would be with the jab. It's important to get this little um, rotation before the shot so that your um, the shoulder from which you're throwing the punch is lowered slightly before you let the punch go. Then it's going to come under there under the opponent's uh, chin usually it will lift their head up if you land it so you've got this little rotation that can come from a cross or just from a movement like a slip type movement that I'm doing there and yeah here's the version where you throw it with your palm facing upwards just an alternative it's not better or worse um, it's good to know how to do both like I said I just feel that most of the time with me Thumb facing up makes my fist a little bit narrower and it just fits through those tight guards and get someone trapped on the ropes. But yep, yeah, thumb facing up or palm facing up. It's up to you. Yep, so those are the basics of the screw shot with the lead hand.